Welcome back to the Gifted Podcast. Let's talk about the Cincinnati Bengals. Obviously, there's a few positions of need on both sides of the ball, but I don't think anything is more important than building up around Joe Burrow. In his first year, he gets a serious injury, and he's supposed to be your quarterback of the future. So in order for the legend of Joe Burrow to grow, they need to go out and get better on the offensive line and add a couple more weapons. Let's start with the right side of the offensive line. Right tackle is still in free agency this year, as we've discussed with other teams. I know it becomes redundant, but that's the facts. The Raven Clark and Taylor Moten are the only two legit options. The rest are just bridge players until you can do better. Guard is another position of need for the Bengals. And again, a position that's thin in free agency, especially with the news that John Feliciano wants to stay in Buffalo. Again, it's a situation where the Bengals would just be signing a bridge guy like J.R. Sweezy or Brian Winters until they can do better. Most likely, Joe Tooney, Brandon Scherf, and Lane Taylor are going to be retained by their own teams. The draft most likely will be the answer for the Bengals in these positions. Lastly, on the O-line, I wouldn't mind seeing the Bengals bring in a center. They could try to throw some money at Alex Mack or Mike Pouncey for an upgrade. And then when looking at receiver, I would let A.J. Green and John Ross walk and then go out and get another option to pair with Tyler Boyd and T. Higgins. There's quite a few options on the market this year, so the Bengals really have no excuse. Kenny Galladay, Chris Godwin, Will Fuller, whatever they decide to do, you really can't go wrong with those names. Finishing up with the offense, I would definitely try and get a good tight end for Burrow. Drew Sample isn't going to get anybody excited, so Janu Smith, Hunter Henry, or Jared Cook would be a welcome sight. Jumping over to the defense, they got a template in place on the defensive line. Sam Hubbard, Geno Atkins, and DJ Reader are pretty good. I'd like to see them re-sign Carl Lawson, who had six sacks and 32 quarterback hits, and that would be suffice on the D-line. They could add depth, but it wouldn't be a glaring hole. Linebacker is, however, a glaring issue for the Bengals, and they need to bring in at least two new faces. Luckily for the Bengals, there are some good options on the market. Levante David would be a good start with his toughness and athleticism. Eric Wilson has good physicality and would be a good option for them. Or they could explore other avenues, K.J. Wright, Neville Hewitt, or Reuben Foster. There's really no reason why the Bengals have to wait for the draft for this position. They need to break out the checkbook. Now let's finish up with the secondary. Depending on what happens with Mackenzie Alexander and William Jackson, the Bengals may be in the market for a corner. I'd like to see them keep William Jackson, and then they would only have to go out and make one investment because William Jackson and Trey Waynes would be pretty good. It does seem like the Bengals like ex-Vikings players at corner, so they could kick the tires on Xavier Rhodes, see if he has anything left, but there are other viable options as well. A.J. Boye or J.C. Jackson would be a big upgrade for them. And that pretty much wraps it up for the Bengals. This, to me, looks like a manageable two-year project. If the Bengals get these moves done, a couple seasons from now, I have no doubt that we'll see Joe Burrow and the Bengals in the playoffs. With that, make sure to hit the like button, share the videos, and subscribe.